I admit, when a DJ Lagway initially was crowned the number one quarterback in the 2024 class, I ain't gonna lie, I was a little bit upset. Okay. I'm still rocking with my guy, but I had to put my my own biases aside. And I went and broke, I went and watched his film, broke it down. And here's what I came up with uh, for his senior year. So DJ Lagway is an athletic dual threat quarterback who puts put up some impressive numbers in the senior season, earning the Gatorade National Player of the Year. Awesome, amazing. He has also had in that same year a 72.1% completion percentage for 4,605 yards with 59 TDs and nine interceptions. That is a crazy <laughs> bananas TD to interception ratio, especially at the high school level. I don't care at any level. I don't care what level you do it at. <laughs> that is amazing. And he also rushed for 953, 953 yards and 16 TDs on the ground. My guy ain't do that. <laughs> My guy ain't do none of that. So respectfully, I have to admit that DJ Lagway definitely outproduced who my number one quarterback is. At least on paper, uh, Nguyen, Colin, I don't know. I, 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 they, they win state? Y'all let me know if DJ Lagway and his team won state last year. I'm not sure. But y'all let me know if they won state. Uh, but he, my guy didn't do that. <laughs> I, I think my guy went like 28 for four TDs and stuff like that. He ain't had these kind of numbers. So when I sat back and I looked at this, looked at this in total, I was like, you know what? Do I think my guy has better tape than DJ Lagway? Sure. Do I think, do I understand why 24-7 and on three and, and all these other big dogs elevated DJ Lagway to the top? Absolutely. Absolutely. 6'2", 6'3", 225, 230, 235. Uh, good built kid. He look like he can play out the box right now. Me personally, I wouldn't play him out the box. But here are some of the, I would probably sit him for a year, actually. I think it would be better for him if they sat him for a year. But here are some of my strengths and weaknesses that I came up with as I was watching this film. And maybe, and if you agree or disagree, y'all let me know in the comments below. But, you know, but keep it, keep it respectful, man. This ain't nothing but fun. This ain't nothing but entertainment. Y'all keep respect when we're going to have a good conversation in the comments. So, some of DJ Lagway's strength is, number one, I think he has good arm strength. I think that's that's without question. Number two, good accuracy overall. Especially, he's especially accurate in the short to intermediate range uh, to running backs, receivers, those tight ends coming over the middle. Does a really good job. Great timing, great touch, everything like that. Uh, always kind of leads the receiver just a little bit to get a little bit of yard yak after the catch. So I really like that. He has good zip on the ball in the short to intermediate range as well. Uh, he spreads the ball around pretty well from the inside the pocket and outside the pocket. Also flashes the ability to uh, throw from different arm angles. That's, that's just the buzzword right now. Uh, throwing from different arm angles uh, all over the field. That's just, you know, Patrick Mahomes, has, Patrick Mahomes, Aaron Rodgers, Brett Favre, Matthew Stafford, great company to be with. They have, you know, they have coined, they have, they have started this trend of throwing from different arm angles and launch points and all the things we used to criticize quarterbacks for doing, they have made it work to the point now where we, we look for those traits. So that's good. That's good. I think he has good enough speed to be a threat. Um, you know, I think me personally, I think he may be between – that four six to four seven five range. I could be wrong, uh, but you know he, he could even get down to those. You know, because Cam Newton uh, was a four five nine guy, so that's not slow. I know everybody want everybody to run a four 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 five. But I think he's in that that four six range, four seven. You know, four six to four seven five range. Good enough to, especially at the high school level, to break these long runs, uh, especially depending on your schedule. Uh, does a great job eluding pass rushers. Like he does a really good job eluding pass rushers, and he would be a great weapon in a run-heavy play-action RPO type scheme. So those are my strengths. And if you, if you, if he, and if Florida does right by him, and I think they should sit him for a year. Uh, let let whoever the I can't think of the dude name, but let that dude that red shirt transfer. Uh, let him come in and play for a year. And I mean, and if DJ Lag would just beat him out, he just beat him out. He is a number one guy. He is built. He already built like a grown man anyway. 
If he ready, go ahead and play him. I'm not on the, I'm not on the practice field in the spring practice with y'all. So if he ready, play him. But I think he'll be better suited sitting down for a year. Uh, but if it was Bill Napier, if he's truly on the hot seat, he probably gonna play this man early. But if he got some type of cushion, he probably he might sit him. But here are some of the things I think that I question about DJ Lag with AKA strengths, I mean, AKA weaknesses, AKA things that could be improved. I do think he has a questionable deep arm strength. I don't think he can complete that deep ball at the same clip as some other guys in his class. I think his decision making when running the ball is a bit sketchy. Uh, I think he will take some unnecessary hits when scrambling instead of getting down or or getting out of bounds. He's going to take that hit, probably try to run over a DB here and there. And, you know, when you're young, you're 19, 18, 20, 21, that's cool, man. You're going to bounce back, recover. But when you get 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, all the way, you know, until you retire in the, in the NFL because this kid is most likely going to the NFL. If you could just stay on his, on his trajectory, uh, you don't want to take those unnecessary hits because what? They're going to age you like a running back. So those are some of my biggest concerns uh, about uh, DJ Lagway. You know, the deep ball strength and accuracy. And, you know, will he get down? You know, when we mobile and we strong, we tend to want to use that. And we saw what that did to Cam Newton's career. So that brings me to this. My two player comps for DJ Lagway is, number one, as a passer, I think he reminds me a lot of Dakota Prescott in in, in, uh, in Dallas. But overall, he is a smaller, less explosive version of Cam Newton and Anthony Richardson. So that's why I think this Florida quarterback reminds me a lot of Superman. He could be that. I don't think he's going to be. He could be that. He could be that. I think he really shows a lot of things that Cam Newton did well at every level. Uh, Cam Newton was one of the most decorated players to ever play the game at every level of football. And and, and DJ Lagway has checked that box at the high school level. Like, you cannot deny what <laughs> DJ Lagway did, regardless of who you, prefer, who you prefer. Like, I prefer my guy. But I can't deny what he did at the, at the high school level. And if he can do it again in the college level, hey, man, he's going to be the number one pick in the NFL draft. <laughs> you know, if he can do it in the NFL, guess what? He's going to take somebody to the Super Bowl and – Going to the Hall of Fame and all that good stuff. But, hey, man, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments below. 